when i was a kid my grandmother always instructed me arun you have to eat green leafy vegetables they are good for your eyes and for your health i think we can all relate to a similar situation but do you know the green leafy vegetables which were supposed to keep us healthy are actually giving us the cancer and the train left the station carrying aboard passengers affected by cancer the abuha jodhpur express or as you may know the cancer train carries life from batinda to bikaner looking for the ray of hope for a cure to their illness the disease has spread its tentacles predominantly in the malwa region of punjab reportedly due to the consistent use of spurious pesticides and other chemicals in agriculture these toxic materials have got mixed with the region's water table and use of that water for agricultural activities as well as drinking has spread the chemicals in residents bodies causing severe ailments among many now let's review the situation in punjab in reverse to reach a conclusion pesticides are injurious to our health and exhibit the ability to cause cancer alzheimers adhd and many more diseases these pesticides are used to protect the crop against insects weeds fungi and other pests these pests attack the plant through the medium of soil we at an actress rajdhani came up with project krishi to solve all of this problem while we were doing research we found that 92% of the diseases in plants are caused due to bacteria and insects present in the soil why not we replace soil from farming farming without soil is this even possible yes it is this technique is actually 4000 year old firstly used in floating gardens of aztec this technique is also known as hydroponic system i am actually standing right in front of a hydroponic system and i am going to show you how the system actually works in reality soil only supports the plant while the nutrients required by the plants are actually absorbed through the water present in the soil so what happens in hydroponics we actually flush the plant roots with the water containing the nutrient there is a bucket containing the nutrient solution for the plants connected just below this nutrient solution is pumped into these pvc pipes with the help of a motor the nutrient solution flows from the first pvc pipe to second to third then to fourth and then to again the bucket so the nutrient solution actually travels in a circular motion although we are farming in the water but it actually saves 90% of the water how when we water the plants in traditional agriculture the majority of the water is evaporated from the soil but in these pvc pipes the pvc pipes are hole covered and these holes are actually get covered by the plants itself Hydroponic system not only prevent cancer it actually saves up to 90% of the water it increases the yield as the nutrients in the water are added in the same proportion required by the plants also it saves space i am actually getting four times the output in the same space with the help of hydroponic system In the initial phase, the hydroponic system will be installed in the college campus, where the society members will be responsible for the efficient working of the hydroponic system installed. With the initial capacity of input, we are entitled to grow 100 plants every month. The harvested crop will be then sold primarily to professors, students, and to the local household located near our college campus. With the growth of the project. We aim at expanding our system along with its output, moving towards a cancer-prevented and healthy India. Go green, go green, go fit.